Number 10, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey is an actress who made her acting debut in the film Reckless and her breakthrough with the comedy film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She subsequently earned worldwide fame for starring as Frances Baby Houseman in the film Dirty Dancing, which earned her a Golden Globe Award nomination. Now, Jennifer was known for her nose, but she hated it, so she got rhinoplasty. The removal of the bump, the dorsal hump on Jennifer's nose, made her look very different from what people were used to seeing her like. She looked nothing like her past characters. While the surgery was successful and went well, it was the after effects that were the real horror for Jennifer. Post op, Jennifer went unrecognized at red carpets and by family and friends, including Michael Douglas. She knew what people thought of her, that she was a cautionary tale, a punchline. It seemed that I had committed an unforgivable crime, willfully stripping away the only thing that made me special, she said. She went on for years in purgatory, unrecognized, without steady work, and with strangers giving backhanded compliments about her new look. She remembered her loss of identity and career overnight, saying, I am as I was at the beginning, not as a whole person, but as a nose. Number 9, Sharon Osbourne. Sharon Osbourne is a British American television personality, music manager, and author. She is married to heavy metal singer songwriter Ozzy Osbourne and came to prominence while appearing on The Osbournes, a reality television show that aired on MTV, which followed her family's daily life. Sharon later became a talent show judge on the television shows The X Factor and America's Got Talent. Now, Sharon is no stranger to plastic surgery, but a facelift she had in late 2021 ended up making her look like a cyclops. Her words, not mine. I had a full facelift done in October and I looked like one of those effing mummies they wrap with bandages. She said to the Sunday Times in April 2022, adding, it hurt like hell. You have no idea. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. She told the surgeon, you've got to be effing joking. One eye was different to the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. And I'm like, all I need is a hunchback. That sounds seriously bad. Even her husband Ozzy was shocked at the results. Sharon revealed he assured her, I don't care how much it costs, we'll get it redone. At least he was supportive of her getting it fixed. She ended up getting reconstructive work done and she's now satisfied with her appearance and hopefully she'll stay away from it now so she'll never have to go through that again. Number 8, Tara Reid. Tara Reid is an American actress who's known for her roles in both American Pie films, The Big Lebowski, and Sharknado, including its five sequels. Now, Tara has admitted to a botched boob job and body contouring procedure in the past. In 2004, Tara had a nip slip on the red carpet at P. Diddy's 35th birthday party in New York. Now, it wasn't just the fact that she had a nip slip that made headlines, it was also that her nipple was unusual. Instead of her Areola being a perfect round circle, it, hers was different, as if a chunk had been cut out. After the incident, Tara was labeled Franken nipple and later had to explain that her plastic surgery had gone wrong. She said, I was already dealing with what it looked like. The last thing I wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. The actual center part where the areola is, instead of being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. It was very irregular, like a goose shaped egg. It was terrible. She also described the excruciating pain caused by her liposuction. I got these bumps like little golf balls all over my stomach and it hurt. Tara went on to explain how she had a hard time finding work, citing fears of revealing her tarnished body in a bikini. Now after undergoing corrective surgery, she says she's both working and happy with her figure. Number 7, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke is an American actor and former boxer who has appeared primarily as a leading man in drama, action, and thriller films. He's best known for his roles in Angel Heart, The Wrestler, and Nine and a Half Weeks. He was once known as one of the film industry's most handsome stars. Unfortunately, plastic surgery made his career dwindle. He's gotten five rhinoplasty procedures, chin implants, lower lip implants, cheek implants, hair transplant, eye lift, facelift, and filler injections. In 2009, Mickey admitted that his looks changed because of botched plastic surgery. He said most of it was done to mend his boxing injuries, however, he went to the wrong guy to put his face back together, resulting in an extremely changed look. I agree, he definitely went to the wrong guy, and hopefully he'll get it fixed, or even better, just leave all the plastic surgery behind. 
Number 6. Janice Dickinson Janice Dickinson is an American model, television personality, and businesswoman. Janice has described herself as the first supermodel as she was one of the most successful models of the 1970s and 1980s. She also served as a judge on four cycles of America's Next Top Model and opened a modeling agency in 2005 which was documented on the reality series The Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. She has admitted to having breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts, and liposuction in the past. But in 2016, after an urgent mammogram and biopsy, her doctor broke the news that she had cancer. Janice said upon getting checked out, she was told by the mammogram technician that it's more challenging to detect abnormalities when a woman has breast implants. If I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place, she admitted. I didn't need to have a mastectomy, although I'm so blessed as Janice being Janice that I said, take them out, take them out, cut them out, just take them out now. Number 5. Dana Delaney Dana Delaney is an American actress who received her breakthrough role on the ABC television drama China Beach and is also known for her roles in Body Proof and Desperate Housewives. Dana got Botox and it did not go to plan. She said 7 years ago I had never heard of Botox. My dermatologist was saying you should try it. He injected my forehead, hit a nerve and created a huge hematoma. The nerve has been dead ever since. It affected my muscle in my right eye so my my eye has started to droop a little bit. The experience left her wary of plastic surgery, which makes sense, and she's impressed by women in Hollywood who shun it. I won't do it. No, my hat's off to Jamie Lee Curtis. She's so smart, she doesn't dye her hair or anything, and Meryl Streep still looks like herself, Diane Keaton too. I think it's really great that actresses don't worry about that kind of thing. Safe to say she won't be trying Botox or any kind of plastic surgery anytime soon. Number 4. Yolanda Hadid Yolanda Hadid is a television personality and former model. She's best known as a star of the American reality television show The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She is the mother to IMG models Gigi Bella and Anwar Hadid. Yolanda had breast implants and she was also diagnosed with Lyme disease. She said, The minute I got on the show, I got sick. I've never worked on that show with a normal brain. I was always struggling and always trying to hold on and keep my job. She had her implants removed in 2015 after doctors discovered one implant had ruptured and was leaking silicone into her chest cavity, which she says was aggravating her Lyme disease symptoms. She was recently posted a photo on Instagram about getting everything removed, captioning the snap, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox, extensions, and all the sh I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe what a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it all almost killed me. Your health is your wealth, so please make educated decisions. Research the partial information you're given by our broken system before putting anything foreign in your body. I'm glad she found out sooner than later, but this truly sucks. Number 3. Heidi Montag Heidi Montag is an American reality television personality, model, singer, and actress. In 2006, Heidi came to prominence after being cast in the MTV reality television series The Hills. But she's also had roles in the films Just Go With It and Cloudy With a Chance of Meatballs. Now in 2010, she famously underwent 10 cosmetic surgeries in one day. She said in 2012, I was definitely way in over my head. I kind of wanted a few enhancements and then it kind of got out of hand. I wasn't told really the repercussions and what would happen emotionally and physically and the pain I would be in. I was kinda in shock. She said I would never do it again and I would never recommend it for anyone. She added people have fewer scars from car accidents than I have on my body. Sometimes I feel like Frankenstein straight out of a sci-fi movie. She opened up about the complications from the surgery in 2018 saying that she nearly lost her life in surgery. I died for a minute, she said. With that much surgery, I had to have 24 hour nurse care and Spencer didn't want to leave my side. I was at a recovery center and had dermal to deal with the pain because it was so extreme. My security guards called Spencer and told him Heidi's heart stopped, she's not going to make it, and I easily could have died. I can't believe that some people risk their life just to live up to certain beauty standards. Number 2. Priscilla Presley Priscilla Presley is an American actress and businesswoman. She's the former wife of American singer Elvis Presley as well as co-founder and former 
were chairwoman of Elvis Presley Enterprises (EPE), the company that turned Graceland into one of the top tourist attractions in the United States. She has spoken out about botched plastic surgery she's received. Her spokesperson claimed that she unknowingly had industrial low-grade silicone, similar to what mechanics use to grease car parts, injected into her face by a doctor who wasn't licensed to practice medicine in the U.S. That sounds absolutely horrible. Priscilla was one of the many documented victims of Dr. Daniel Serrano, the actress's rep shared in 2008. An investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Ms. Presley dealt with this matter years ago and everything is well now. I'm glad she was able to fix everything because that sounds dangerous. Number 1. Linda Evaganglista Linda Evaganglista is a Canadian fashion model who is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all time who has been featured on over 700 magazine covers. Linda is primarily known for being the longtime muse of photographer Steven Meisel as well as the phrase, we don't wake up for less than $10,000 a day. Now Linda hadn't been seen in the public eye for 5 years due to botched cosmetic work and on September 23, 2021, she explained why. Linda revealed that she underwent cool sculpting which she said left her unrecognizable as it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. She explained in an Instagram post saying, To my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers careers have been thriving, the reason is that I was brutally disfigured by a procedure which did the opposite of what it promised. She said the procedure's rare but serious side effect not only destroyed my livelihood, it has sent me into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. In the process, I have become a recluse, I'm so tired of living this way, I would like to walk out my door with my head held high despite not looking like myself any longer. This is a true horror story and I can't imagine being known for your beautiful looks and then going through that. It must have been so hard for her. Well that's all for our list of the top 10 celebrity plastic surgery horror stories that you won't believe. Which one scares you the most? Comment down below and we'll see you next time.